everybody welcome back to my youtube channel so as you can see by the title today i'm going to be playing with some new products that were sent to me and some that i've only maybe tried once or twice i don't do my eyes in this video because i don't have any new eyeshadow palettes but if you're wondering what's on my eyes it's my morphe 35b i cannot recommend this palette enough you can see how many shades i've hit pan on now i love this palette so much it's incredible my lashes are the Kylie Lashes by Sosu and then my glitter is some Sarah Zara Cosmetics glitter that I'll link everything that I've used in this video in the description box down below anyway so if you're looking for anything just check that. So yeah without any further ado let's just jump into testing quite a few new products. So the first product I'm going in with is a Pierre Rene Professional Makeup Base Smoothing. This is a primer. I've used it once before um, but I mean it's a primer isn't it you don't really know how well it's working. Pierre Rene is a um, Polish brand, I'm pretty sure, and they sent me a bunch of stuff. That feels really nice. It just feels like a kind of gel. It doesn't feel in any way like silicone-y. Um, so we'll see how makeup sits on top of it. So for foundation, I'm gonna use this for the very first time. This is the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation. Everyone and their mum has used this. Now I've got shade two and shade four here, and I'm gonna see which one will match me better. I've got a feeling shade four will be fine. It's still quite light, but I think, you know, with all my other powders and everything on, it'll be fine. This is shade two. To be fair, that looks pretty good as well. I'm gonna use shade four because it's slightly more pink and see how I get on. And I'm just gonna drop it on my face like they do in the cool Instagram videos. I know it's like one drop sheer coverage, two drops, well what is it? I don't know, I've already thrown away the box, but it's something like one drop sheer two is medium and three is full. I'm putting on like probably about 20 drops right now. I don't know. Let's see what the coverage is on this. I'm just gonna use my Real Techniques sponge. I've actually never used, that looks so gross. <laughs> I've never used a NYX foundation before. That's like the lightest coverage ever. Um, it's not really doing very much for me. It's kind of like, it's not really even evened out my skin tone, has it? Um, I'll try with another layer, but so far I'm not sure what I think about this. That is two layers of the foundation on and it looks a lot better than one layer but I still don't, I don't love the coverage. The finish is nice, it's like a satin finish. It blended very easily but I can still like see all my kind of hyperpigmentation. I can still see these two blemishes. But it's a fairly skin like finish. I think it looks like a nice kind of fresh base. I don't look like I'm kind of caked in foundation but Mm, I'm not sure what I think. I think with the rest of my makeup on it will be fine, but right now I'm not like blown away. Um, the only new concealer I've got is this Milani um, Retouch and Erase Light Lifting Concealer. This is way too dark, so I'm going to mix it a little bit with my Freedom White Concealer and see if I can maybe use it that way. This has like a sponge applicator like that, and it just comes out to the top. Oh, that was gross, sorry. This really is super dark though, compared to my um, foundation, so I will need to mix it, but um, we'll try it anyway. Put a bit on my cheeks. I'll go in with my white one. This might have been an error, that concealer is so dark. 
Oh dear. Right, let's let's just try. I think it's okay with the white concealer, but I do feel like I'm just kind of now putting it all over my entire face. Yeah, I've kind of put that concealer out all over my my face. <laughs> That white concealer though from Freedom is such a good mixing concealer. If you are super pale, this could I guess be used on its own, but it might be too stark. Um, but if you have, if you're super pale and you struggle to find um, concealers that match you, get that white one. It's only three pounds and it, it works really well. I'll do a little bit using my NYX cream contour palette. I've only used this once or twice. Um, but I do like it from what I've used so far. Do I have a brush though? I'm just going to use this um, third shade in here. And I'm not going to do a whole heap of cream contouring. But I'll just do a little bit on the cheeks and see. Yeah. Just whatever's left on my brush around my head. This um, Milani concealer, I don't know what's wrong with the packaging, but it's spilling everywhere all over my desk. I've just got like mounds of concealer now on my desk, so that packaging's a little bit messy. I really like this cream contour palette. I think it's really um, comparable to my like ABH cream one or my Iconic London one but way more affordable. Just gonna go over that with my sponge. You know, I really, really like how my skin looks with that um, foundation and then the concealers mixed on top. I think it looks really flawless. It's definitely got rid of the redness of my two blemishes, but I mean, you can still physically see that one because it's like a, you know, a mini volcano, but. For powder, I'm going to use the Pierre Rene Rice Loose Powder. I've used this once before. Only problem is the like sieve part of it came out and it was really hard to get product through the sieve anyway. So I took the sieve part off and now this packaging, if you can see it's so messy and I think when I open this it's going to explode. I'll do a little bit of baking under my eyes just to make sure I don't get any more creases. This powder does feel really nice so I used it yesterday in a video and it doesn't oxidise your base in it anyway and it just seems nice. It doesn't look drying or anything. All over my face I'm going to use this Premark PH Perform Hydrate Recover Sweat Resistant Powder because I've only used this a few times and I've not used it in a while. So it's just like a translucent um, powder. It's supposed to be like good for the gym and things because it's sweat proof apparently. Um, I haven't really tested that out. Not really known for my uh, frequent gym gym going. Yeah, the base does feel a little tacky, so it needs set, but I would always set it anyway. I set matte foundations in place because to me, it's just like an extra layer of security for my base not moving. Yeah, I really like how my base looks overall. I think it looks really nice. I think it's a fairly good color match to my body. Yeah, it's nice, I like it. So next, I've got a few Technic products. These are very, very inexpensive. Um, they sent me a big bunch of stuff. So, so the first one we'll play with is the Technic Color Fix Bronze Palette. This has quite a few um, different shades in it, but I think I'll need to mix a couple if I can open it. I think I'll use, oh, I don't know. I think I'll use this color here mixed with this color here. This color actually has a bit of shimmer in it, but I don't really mind that with bronzer. And I think if you're, wanting to go for like a shimmery bronzer. It's quite a nice look. I'll just tap off any excess. I'm not sure how pigmented these are. It's 
definitely got color. No, that's not bad at all, is it? It's pigmented. It's really blendable. And those two shades mixed seem to really kind of complement my skin tone. But there's so many like really deep shades as well, so a few lighter shades. So this could really work for a few different skin tones. Um, let me see how much this costs. Hey Siri, show me the Technic Color Fix Bronze Palette. So when I say this is inexpensive, I mean it's inexpensive. This is on Amazon currently for £2.25. So for eight shades for £2.25, that is a bargain and it is it's working really well. I'm really impressed by that. There's nothing wrong with it at all. Um, so I'm going to quickly contour using my NYX powder contour kit because I don't have like a Technic contour but and none of the shades in that palette look like they'll be like suitable for contouring so I'll just throw this on quickly and then we'll move on to some more Technic palettes. So our next Technic product is this. This is a highlighting palette. Let me see how much this costs. It's probably the same as the bronzer palette I imagine. Let me check. Yeah, so this retails again for £2.25 and this has a lovely variety of shades in it. Some are super light. The bottom, so I just hold it this way, the bottom four are baked, the top are pressed. Um, I swatched this in my PR haul and I was just blown away by the pigmentation. Like, look at that. Like, that's nutty. That looks like a high-end palette. So I'm just going to go in with a dry brush and see how it works and I'm going to mix this topped pressed one here with this bottom baked one and just kind of see what what happens on the on the cheeks it looks really pigmented on the brush yeah I mean that's that's nuts look I don't even need to speak I'm a little bit astounded by how bright this is. Okay, so for £2.25, highly, highly recommend this palette. This is gorgeous. There are shades in here that are way too deep for me. Let me swatch them. So you can see that this palette would work for deeper skin tones as well. So that these four shades are way too dark for my skin tone. I think the last product that I'll test from Technic then is the blush palette. I'm going to assume this is £2.25. Again, eight colours. I have used this before. This is really pigmented and there's some colours in here for deep skin tones. But can you imagine, say you really want the modern renaissance palette because of the pinks. Just get this blush palette and use like these two tones. There we go. I'm going to use, I think, this colour mixed with this peach and pop that on my cheeks. This is pigmented. It's very pigmented. Go away a little bit, please. And actually, I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of this peach tone from the highlight palette. And I'm just gonna pop a little bit of that on my cheekbones. Just as a kind of peachy, glowy blush topper. It looks kind of bronzy. Oh, I like it. So for lips, I got a bunch of NYX products. I also got quite a few Technic products as well, but they were mostly lip glosses and I don't really want to use a lip gloss so I think I might use this um, liquid suede in Brooklyn Thorn. I'm just not sure about it with the eyes. I'm not sure the what lip I wanted to go for so I might just try this and see how it looks. It's a bold kind of brown I guess, kind of grey brown. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna try it.
Yeah, it's almost like a true brown, but there's a slight bit of grey in it. These liquid suede's are really impressing me though they're very pigmented. Not entirely matte, but very long wearing I found. They don't have to get an awkward hand when they're just like doing something with their, their dominant hand and then this other hand just like sitting, doing something awkward. Well that's kind of messily applied. That is a really cool colour. Not sure about it with this eye. <laughs> I actually have the matching lip pencil as well, so I'm just going to use this to um, clean up my lip line. I'll finish off my under eye and then I'll come back and we'll do our final thoughts on the kind of new products that we tried. So I just threw on some bottom eye makeup and tidied up my lips. So this is, what is it, Brooklyn Thorn or something? I'm not sure it goes with this lip, this eye, but I mean, what, what goes with a tropical eye except a plain nude? And I don't want to do a plain nude again. So I'll just go through the products now, what I used and what I thought about them. So the primer feels nice. Like I said, it's hard to know with a primer if it's doing much for you, but my makeup didn't break up in any way. It sits really nicely over the top, so that seems quite nice. The foundation does seem nice as well. I preferred it when I put on quite a bit of concealer over the top because before that it was much more of a natural finish which isn't really my cup of tea if you know me at all but I think the colour matches really nice. I think you know my face matches my body so that was shade 4 that I used. Um, yeah I like it. I'll definitely use it again maybe more in summertime when I'm wanting like a more natural finish. The concealer seemed really nice. I like this layered over the top of the foundation, but I did, of course, have to mix it. Um, I think this is the lightest shade that they do, so that seems a bit odd, but then their foundation is really dark, isn't it? This is the lightest shade that they do in their foundation, and that's super dark. I can wear it if I wear like a high neck jumper, so I'm not surprised that their concealer is pretty dark. But there we go. It's not perfect for me, but I can make it work. This Pierre Rene Professional Powder is really nice under my eyes. I've never tried a rice powder before and it's so nice. It doesn't make my under eyes look dry or crepey in any way, which can happen quite often to me. So I do really like this. I'll obviously link everything that I've used below, by the way. Um, the pre-marked powder, I've used it before. It's fine. It's just a nice setting powder. I really like both NYX Cream and Powder Contour Kits. I've used them in other videos before. I really like the liquid suede. I love this formula. It is so comfortable to wear. When I touch it on my finger, it's not transferring. Really? A little bit, but not much, so I'm not too bothered about that. But the stars of the show for me were the three Technic palettes. For under £7, I think you can get all three of these. I think that is bananas. These are so worth the money. I would highly recommend those completely. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. I just thought I would film some first impressions and see what I thought. And yeah, please do subscribe before you go. Leave me a comment, leave me a thumbs up. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.